Greetings, Citrus students and faculty. Welcome to, hopefully, the first of many alumni interviews. I am joined here with... Uh, Dominic McCray. <laughs> and, and our first special guest, I'm really happy to say... Mm -hmm. uh, Robert Capron. Thank you so much to Robert for coming out today. Yeah. Thank you. So we're just going to ask a few questions, going to have a little interview, and just kind of opening it up, first of all, uh, just kind of want to ask... How is it like? What is it like returning back to your own high school, yeah. Situate High School, oh, years it's, later? It's been uh, very bizarre. People here can definitely attest. I've just been walking around going like, wow, wow, <laughs> as if I like haven't seen anything before, <laughs> but like I have. <laughs> so no, it's just been, um, it's been really bizarre. I, I think it's been at least pr like four or five years since I've actually been in the building. Mm -hmm. um, my sister went here, and so like I think I popped in like once then, but it's just been awesome like seeing people and like, it was definitely like before COVID, so it's just been a minute. Uh, and yeah, it's it's wonderful. Like mm -hmm. it's, there's a lot that's familiar and there's a lot that's new and it's just cool to, to kind of take it all in. I've just been giggling a lot, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> like it's just, yeah, it's cool. That's it's awesome, that's yeah. awesome. And here at Citroën High School, uh, what did you experience that was, you know, kind of similar to your peers and how was it different coming here? Yeah, um, so I would say, well, especially when, like, start because, I mean, I was here for middle school, too. It was the type of thing where um, it was really weird insofar as, like, one thing I'm really proud of and I, and, like, throughout all my acting, writing, whatever, is that, like, I was very much, like, still in school. Like, I really mm -hmm. kept that up and I wanted to be and I really loved it here and I wanted to be with my friends. I loved the community and I didn't want to, like, stray from that, even though a lot of, like um, – people I was working with at the time, a lot of people do like sort of um, online school or something like that. But um, it was great in that I had probably the most like, I had a very just like awesome experience here as if like none of that acting stuff was going on and the mm -hmm. school was really understanding with that, which was great. But it was also like kind of weird because every once in a while I would just like go away for like two weeks. <laughs> in my senior year, I was actually gone for a month. Um, the whole first um, uh, month, like September oh, of like my senior year, because I was doing like a random indie movie in Nantucket, uh, and I just kind of got back, and it was weird. It was doubly funny uh, because while I was um, doing school, especially when I was doing Wimpy Kid, um, what they would do is because um, this was before like Zoom, right. like yeah. it, it was only like I mean it must have been like. 13, 12 years ago or something like that, or I'm getting time wrong, but it was before like Zoom, and so I would actually just get like FedEx, like physical sheets of like work, wow. and, like lab projects and stuff like that. And now, especially with like with, after COVID and everything, the way everything's kind of been digitized, I always just think that's funny. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, so like I'm, I had a, I had a blast here. I was glad I got to do all that, and the school was super understanding of everything, even though I was zipping all over the place. So. I have an add-on question to that. Yeah. Do you think that like kind of made your acting experience different from others? that did online as a kid definitely yeah. um and honestly like um i like like i was saying earlier i'm so thankful that i had a normal middle school and high school experience with all of that um because i think it honestly just like gave me a lot i know mm -hmm. the school gave me a lot i i was glad to just kind of still be into things and to be able to balance both of those things was definitely a very unique experience because um a lot of people like i was saying like they just um they, they finish high school but they maybe switch to like sort of like an online component or something like that and it just um i was just so glad i got to like go to like you know dances yeah. and class <laughs> and just like do all of that normally while also kind of having this this other thing going on you know but it was definitely kind of weird. It was always funny in like drama club because like I do drama club stuff and then we go to drama club festival and people would be like screaming and I, just, <laughs> I didn't know what to do with that because I was just like, oh, I don't know. But yeah, uh, that was cool. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I can definitely, uh, we can definitely justify that sense of togetherness here at Situate High School. That hasn't left certainly in the past five years. Absolutely. And that kind of leads me to my next question. Um, I was doing some background information on you, looked up <laughs> yeah. a little bit, and I saw you attended Brown University. Yeah. So yeah. what made you want to stay in state? And did you know you wanted to stay in state ever since you were in high school or middle school? That's a, that's a great question, actually. Yeah. So like I, um, I actually, what made me want to go to Brown specifically was, um, Honestly, kind of the fact it was in Rhode Island, I had, when I was doing Wimpy Kid, there was actually somebody who was, um, uh, like, a, a producer on the movie mm -hmm. um, who I became very good friends with while I was, like, working on all those. And I was, like, I was 13. I was still in middle school, like, eighth grade when we were doing the third Wimpy Kid movie. And um, one of the producers of the movie, like, heard that I was from Rhode Island. And my dad was saying, like, I was in eighth grade, but he was like, you got to start thinking about college. <laughs> and uh, which is good. It's good. That is a good thing. Um, but... Uh, the producer of the movie um, ended up like hearing that and it was like, oh, well, you like live in Rhode Island, like, and he said, yeah, like I know a bunch of people who went to Brown. That's like an excellent school. I think you would really like that. Um, and so it kind of was always just like burned into my brain. Mm -hmm. And even while I was here, um, and it was time for me to be like applying for colleges and stuff. I applied early decision, um, yeah. and I got in, which was great. But honestly, it was the type of thing where. 
I don't like I had other ideas for where mm-hmm. I wanted to go, but I was so dead set on that school. Like it definitely would have made me I would have had to do some thinking if it that hadn't right. worked out. But thankfully it did pretty quickly. Um so I, I was really lucky for that. But yeah, I just I really love that school. One thing that I think is incredible about that school specifically is just like um the you can take whatever you want. Like you have to pick a major, but the whole thing was like open curriculum so I could do movie stuff, but I I was a huge history guy. And so I ended up um surprising even myself. I thought I was just gonna major in film, but I did film and uh and history is like a double major yeah. and it was totally because I just loved history and I got to do that that's so. awesome yeah. I love to hear yeah. that yeah got the next one um, yeah continue with like what you did in college what have you done you know since college you know, since graduation yeah so since graduation from college um, I moved out to Los Angeles um, I ha- kind of made the jump from acting to writing somewhere in college I actually realized I wanted to write at a um well, while I was in an acting conservatory program um, where I realized I was enjoying reading the scripts and seeing how they worked more than actually <laughs> acting. And I was like, oh, something's happening here. Yeah. Um, and so I kind of made that jump. Um, and I've done a lot of random stuff. Uh, I did a lot of like production work on music videos um, with like – and that was just kind of like helping out with random things, but I worked on a lot of music videos with like Tyler, the creator, which was really cool. Oh. Um, and he's like the funniest person in the world. <laughs> I think um, I did a lot of like music production, music video production work. And then um, writing wise, I was just um, a writer's assistant, which is you're not actually writing for the show, but you're keeping tabs on everything and like taking notes, okay. like in the writer's room and doing stuff like that. Um, I did that for uh, the new Muppet show that came out on Disney plus, oh. which was okay. very, um, very fun, but very, very <laughs> weird. And I've been writing a lot of, my own stuff and um i actually very recently found out a friend and i like a project we've been working on we got um funding to make a, a movie like just in- independent people wanted to like put money forward on that so we've been working on a script for that and i've got a lot of like tv things i want to wor- work on and a lot of different scripts i've written for that i'm looking to like pitch to different studios so it's mm-hmm. been a lot of work yeah it's been a lot of work <laughs> like i just i'm on a computer all day but it's been good you know and it's what i want to do and i'm loving it yeah that's incredible yeah. i'm so glad to hear you're doing what you want to do that's yeah. awesome that kind of yeah. leads me to my next question um what made you want to move to L.A.? And that's kind of a big jump coming from the East Coast all the way down to L.A. So what made you – did you always know you wanted to move across the country? Did you yeah, know? well, it was one of those things that was like – in the same way that like Brown was always kind of there when I was younger, like L.A. was kind of like even mm. further always there. Like um, there's just a lot going on. Right. Like I mean all the studios are over there. I'm really interested in television. Like um actually I think the real first seed of me wanting to be a writer was um when I was in um he's he's not here anymore. Um but when I was in Mr. Haney's uh English class um, we just like talked about TV a lot and I saw Breaking Bad and I loved Breaking Bad. Um, and I think Better Call Saul is like one of the best shows ever made. I could yeah. literally spend 10 minutes talking about that, but I won't cause we need time. Um, but, uh, anyways, I, um, with LA, it was just one of those things where like all the studios are over there and it's the kind of thing where, um, a lot of the TV, like, writers room specifically are situated over there. And it's a little bit different now with Zoom. That's something that, like, in the wake of COVID is one of those changes. But a lot of it is very much still over there. Right. And so it was just, especially with writing, that was kind of where I felt like I needed to be. Um, and it's been, it's if it's a movie lover's heaven. There's, like, so many, like, random theaters everywhere that I just go crazy for. Um, and I'm, I'm just, like, watching all these movies from, like, all over the place all the time. And I love it. And I'm obsessed. That's awesome. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's it's been a lot of fun. Um, soup, it takes forever to get places though. Like I, oh, yeah. when I was he- <laughs> like when I was like living in Rhode Island, uh, like regularly, like I'd I'd be like going to somewhere in, like Warwick, and I see it's like twenty five minutes. I'd be like, oh, and now I'm in the car <laughs> for like at least an hour a day, if not yeah. double that. So yeah, but yeah, LA traffic's incomparable. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah, <laughs> not not great, not great. But um, we were talking before that you've done work in New York as well. Were yeah. You- you know, see in comparison to LA, do you like one better than the other? That's a that's a great question, specifically for like film industry related stuff. New York definitely has a lot. Um, New York, I mean, New York is like the theater haven. Like I would say that like LA is kind of considered like the film spot. New York's definitely like a theater spot. Um, New York has a lot of film production also going on. Like some of my favorite projects, a lot of my favorite projects actually take place in New York and sometimes have the writers rooms over there and everything. Um, it's just a bit more centralized in Los Angeles, I would say. A lot of the writers' rooms end up being over there, even if things are shot in New York. And sometimes it's different. But like some of my favorite stuff I've seen have been like has been New York oriented. Like um, I love Succession. 
uh, like the HBO show, um, and that's like mostly though they have some LA things. That's mostly in New York. So yeah, I, I think there's just a lot more. And another big part of it too is that a big part of the reason why, honestly, even going back to the past question, why moving out to LA is a, was a good idea for me is that you just you just run into a lot of people. Yeah, like definitely. it's just the type of thing where you are more likely to run into somebody. And so much of these situations is just happening to like know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy's cousin kind of thing, and then yeah. it's just like, yeah. Um, so that's a good spot. Um, and New York definitely has some of that. I just think if you're going for film or TV, f- specifically in a studio context, it's a lot more centralized than LA. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. But. And 